back in the studio. It's a crummy day, rainy. I needed some coffee, wake me up. But I'm pretty much just here in the studio to gather paint supplies, bring it back to New York City. I don't have any of my stuff there and I need to be painting. I need to bring my easel, I got paints, brushes, random other miscellaneous utilities. So I'm here just organizing, hanging with my best pal, this big old canvas. Oh, look at him, he's gorgeous. I was thinking maybe I'll just lay out all of my like tools, all of my utilities that I use to paint, make a little mini video in case people are wondering like, this maybe people don't know about, matte medium. So I'm gonna clean up, organize, maybe we'll content condense it all on a table and I'll show you it all. So we're gonna stick around here and go through a bunch of my equipment here. How does that sound? So there's a lot on this table, but we're gonna keep this real short and simple. I'm just gonna tell you all the things I use specifically for acrylic painting. I don't use oils, I wish I did. I'm, not, I'm just pretty nervous, I haven't ventured down that rabbit hole, but I have time to learn, that's in the future. This is all pretty much what I use for acrylic paintings, almost everything I have up on the walls. So starting with like mediums, this is gesso, you know, it's an acrylic medium. It's what is on canvases, it's what's pre-applied, you know, canvases are linen or cotton, and then they have a couple layers of that white stuff, which is gesso. And if you have like a wood panel, like this is wood, I love painting on these, and it, it doesn't come pre-gessoed sometimes, so you just put on a couple layers, sand it down, it's really great, it's pretty fun to do, so I usually have a good amount of gesso around. Another medium I use almost every single painting is this matte medium. This lowers the viscosity of like heavy body acrylic paint, so it, it's more fluid. It doesn't really take away much of the opacity, and it's just great for thinning down paint. There's a big difference between thinning down paint with this and then thinning it with water, you know? So you use both, but this is really important, especially if you're working with, you know, thicker paint, which I do. Other random, you know, mediums I use sometimes is this is like a gloss varnish. If you wanna varnish a finished canvas to make it a little glossier, make it pop a little more, that's sometimes fun to use. And it's all like, this is all transparent. It looks kind of white, but you know, you use it and it's transparent, and those are just mediums. So acrylic paint, I use pretty expensive paint, I use cheap paint, and I use really, really shitty cheap paint. You know, it depends what you wanna do. If you're just starting out, just goofing around, using a lot, you know, you might as well get this eight ounce thing for, you know, four bucks, and then instead of paying, you know, 10 bucks for this two ounce thing, so. It just depends what you're trying to do. I use all different types, you know, this is a bunch of shitty paint. There's nicer paint in there but it's just what colors you want if you're mixing a lot. This is mostly heavy body acrylic. I do use other fluider, um, you know, paints that, that's better for like design oriented stuff like that, also blending, but I just tend to just buy bigger tubes of the thick stuff, alrighty? And so when I'm mixing the paint, I love using these things. I got like four of these little trays, little cups to just mix paint, you know, get messy. It's super cheap, why not? People also like to use like these bigger trays. This is just like a piece of you know, transparent tracing paper. And it's just a bigger space to mix paint around. It's all the same. I just like these because it's you know kind of clean and it's it's really inexpensive. Another thing I always have on hand is this color wheel. I'm very bad at color theory. So mixing paints, mixing colors, you know, getting different hues, intensities, you know, combinations of tertiary colors, whatever. You know, you just got this bad boy to uh, give you some direction. It's like $1.50, why would you not have one? Brushes are the same as the paint. You know, you could get really expensive ones and really cheap ones. This one's probably like a $20 brush, really nice. But you know, you could also get pretty much the same one for probably like five or even $4. You know, it just depends what you want. I have a bunch of nice ones. I have a bunch of shittier ones, you know, different sizes, liners, you know, fatter. It, it, it's just preference, you know, and you really don't need the good stuff. It's kind of overkill. I try to get the cheapest materials possible, but sometimes, obviously, nicer things work better. But it's all how you use it, so it doesn't truly matter. I also have like random little palette knives all over, you know, different textures. You never know when you might be needing these things. Straight edge, you know, these are just things I have around my painting area. Also, always have some masking tape around. I love masking tape. I use it to kind of block out shapes in my paintings. A lot of these canvases around I've used. I like the, the brown this kind because you can see through 
a little easier than the, the blue painter's tape, which is the same thing, they work the same, but I like this because you could see through it a little easier. Yeah, so these are the most important elements to the painting process for me. You know, when I'm painting on a canvas, using acrylics, got my brushes, got my mediums, got my stuff, everything I need, all set up, you know, a bowl of water, and you're ready to go, pop out a nice canvas. Let's look at the spray paint, because I use spray paint all the time as well. So switching gears to the, the spray paint arsenal, the spray paint corner. I use pretty much all the same paint. Don't have too much right now. This is kind of just the leftover from the summer. You know all of them, the low pressure cans, Molotow, you know, Montana Gold, we got Flame Blue, 94, you know, all the really nice paints. They're all really good pigment, you know, great colors, a variable pressure valve, which is awesome. We can get into caps for hours. I just pretty much use NY Fats, you know, skinny, any skinny dot to get thin lines, and that's pretty much all I need. They are very expensive, you know, six to nine bucks. It's the artist specific cans for graffiti, for muralists, whatever. For me, I do murals all the time, commission work. I use spray paint for the canvases, so I need a bunch of colors all the time. I'm always crushing cans, always getting new ones. So it's not really novelty, you know, to have this, these many, it's just, the paint I need to use. So this is like the big easel I have for bigger canvases, which I usually work with. It's pretty standard, you know, moves up and down. It's great for big canvases, stationary. And I also have this little like mini easel right here, which is portable, it folds up. It's the same idea as the big one. It's just portable, it's, it's smaller, it has a little drawer. That's what I'm bringing to New York City so I can paint in my room. I'm gonna organize everything, put it in a bag, and then we're gonna head to the city. Thank you.